Uh, it's what it is is a GPS guided steering. So what it does is take a, a precise GPS signal following a precise GPL path, which you see the blue line. So we laid this path in on Monday and uh, it will follow that path around and follow those guidance lines. So if you were imagining a field and we have a bunch of uh, guidance lines set up, it will follow each one of those rows and run a precise path, right? Whether that be a straight path, a curved path, a round field, a uh, long field, or even like a boundary path, which we're simulating here, you know, follow that precisely using uh, the steering system. What's nice part of it on a utility vehicle for 23, it utilizes the uh, electronic power steering system that we already have in our, our, our utility vehicles. So we integrate with that and integrate seamlessly with the auto track uh, controllers and network. And so again, I'll have set up here, we'll simulate a spraying path. You'll see that once we engage auto track, we'll simulate that sprayer as you as we come around. So this right here will engage the auto track. You push in. What you'll see is that line turn white and I'll highlight. There you go, that's good. And that means we're on, that's the path it's gonna follow. There you go. And it's activated. So now you just give it, give it gas, give it, you can go about five miles an hour in the straights on this setup and the turns are pretty sharp. So we'll do those about three and that way you're not throwing out a seat. Keep giving it gas? Yep, just maintain oh. gas. Wow, how about this? No hands. And you can see here, so you can kind of see the spray path it'll laying down. So those are simulate like a fence line boundary run, like you're laying down some spraying or up against the fence. Give it a little gas, let's get up to five. Say we can go up to five, right? On straight, I can go five. I would try to do the turns at three, the little sharp. Advance the speed. Oh, oh. whoops. You can go up to 18 miles an hour in this, but the steering becomes speed limited. So it, you can't take a, it won't let you take a turn, like a 90 degree turn at 18 miles an hour. So it'll limit it down. The vehicle will do it, but you won't like it. We're coming up on the turn at two miles per hour. And look at that. Wow. So that gives you a heads up that there'll be a turn coming. So if you had to slow down, you can. Let's see what path we're gonna take. So when we come around onto this side here, you'll grab the wheel and we'll turn it back over and then we'll re-engage. That way you kind of feel what it takes to disengage it. So you leave, nope, there you go. Ooh. Keep going, you got it. Keep going, keep going. All right, go ahead and grab the wheel, disengage. There you go. Keep going. Go Keep going. And then once this lights back up again in white, go ahead and hit the re-engage the auto track right, switch. There you, go. you can, can re-engage it. Yep, go ahead. There you go. There I'll it take is. you all the way back. Wow. And we're headed back. And as you can see, you, as it engages, we have the uh, sprayer slave to the auto track engagement and we're right back over the top where we were. So this kind of shows you kind of like how precise we can drive this machine. If you try to do it manually, you inevitably do one of these numbers, especially if the field has really had a lot of ruts. This whole system was set up for, for an ag, for a roll crop, it was really set up for that. Um, it's probably the same customer doing like, like so we were talking through like pre-emergent spraying, boundary mapping, field maintenance, and that side of work. Um, but you kind of size it for, for, you know, right size for utility vehicles, right? So. You know, if you need to go do some field maintenance, you don't need to pull out your nine hour tracker, you can pull out your John Deere Gator. And because we have a telematics package on here, all the information from your field is sent to your John Deere uh, cloud service, you know, JD Link and your operation center. So all that data is connected and you can send it to other equipment. So I can send this to other gators, I can send this to other tractors or harvesting equipment, depending on what you're gonna use it for. Um, so it's also a connected machine. And so you're collecting all that data as well. Basically, just the order the order package in that. There's two op, uh, two options you get from the factory. Um, the auto track ready, yeah, you can hold and park over here. The auto track ready uh, basically use the whole system, the, the green star, 
in the Starfire. Um, and then the second package is if they already have the Universal's display, the Gen 4 display and the Starfire, they can order less that. And then they can just transfer over their those parts. So those are probably the more uh, expensive side of, of components. But all the uh, infrastructure and harness work is all laid in the, at the factory. And so all that work's already done. They don't have to come back in and drill anything or do any of that work. So it's much more a simpler install than you can you just move over display or buy a display or however you want to do it.